am going to do a first half of December reading, what you guys can expect, guidance, so on and so forth. So we're going to see what comes through. We do have a 50k like goal every single morning. So please tap, tap, tap the screen to like the live. Okay. I love interaction y'all. So keep interacting with me. If you have questions, let me know what's resonating in the reading as I go through. Okay. But let's do it. God source universe, divine creator of all things only for our highest and best and through your divine love and light. What do we need to know about the first half of December? First half of December. Three of Wands, Four of Wands, the Chariot, and the Nine of Swords. Y'all are anxious, fearful, sad. I don't know. Um, Nine of Swords, you guys, this is something on your mind that's been perpetuating for a long time or has been on your mind for a long time, causing a lot of anxiety, sleepless nights, um, maybe nightmares or having dreams about people that you don't want to have dreams about. <laughs> um, all right, but what I heard when I was shuffling is this too shall pass. You will get through this, okay? Now, three of wands, four of wands, and then the chariot. All right, so we have seven, seven here, okay? Because the chariot is the seventh major arcana, and then the three and four is three plus seven is seven. So seven, 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 seven was a big number for us in the reading yesterday, okay? So three of wands, four of wands, guys, there's celebration, there's achievement, there's success coming in the first half of this month, okay? Yeah, squeaky toy is Thor, my puppy, um, so y'all will always know when he's around. Um, but yeah, it's like the chariot is saying, you guys are going to overcome the hurdles, the obstacles, the challenges. Stop worrying about it. Your worry, your fear, your anxiety is what is preventing or adding resistance to your manifestations, to your new beginning to, um, I feel like some of you guys are worried you're not going to be able to travel to see family for the holidays or you're worried maybe something's going on with family um, far away or you feel disconnected from family um, or there are some challenges within family, but you guys are going to move on from that with the chariot. Um, could be issues within a relationship. Take it as it resonates. But I feel like you guys are going to come into alignment, come into balance with Something that is way out of your comfort zone, but something that you're extremely passionate about. Could have to do with an Aries Leo Sag, maybe a Cancer, um, or a Gemini Libra Aquarius. It doesn't have to be, though. Remember, guys, we do have a full moon in Gemini on the 7th, um, so full moons represent release, culmination, endings of cycles, but you should also start to see manifestations come through, especially with intentions you set on May 30th of this year, which was when the new moon in Gemini. All right, but let me know how this is resonating in the comments. Also, for everyone who's been asking me, my swag and gift cards are officially live on my website. You can go to the link in my TikTok bio or theholisticsiren.com and check them out. Yes, my sweatshirts, my candles, my coffee mugs, they are all live on my website. Gift cards are live as well if you want to give them as gifts. All right. I worked on that all morning this morning for you guys because so many of you have been asking me about it and it is done. It is done, you guys. All right, let's see what else, what else, what else. All right, so if anyone wants to check it out or any of my regulars, you guys want to go check it out, um, give me some feedback. It's very, like, bare bones guys, but I worked my butt off to get it up there for y'all. Will you sign my pick with the witch hat? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Isn't it a beautiful deck? All right. And then we have the nine of cups guys wish fulfillment. I feel like, are you guys listening to Thor squeaker? Like whenever he squeaks his little squeaker, um, it just makes me laugh. It just, it brings me so much joy to hear him having so much fun with his little avocado squeaker. Um, Anyway, nine of cups, guys, uh, I, we also had nine, nine. So guys, there's a lot of chapters closing, doors closing, so new ones can open. But you guys are stepping into your light working abilities. Believe it or not, like you guys are healers, you're gifted, all right? You, your soul signed up for a difficult journey in this life. And I know you're feeling me on that one, okay? Probably from a very young age, maybe you experienced some trauma or abuse um, or neglect growing up, all right? But... You're being put through that for a reason because you are stronger than the average person, okay? Internally, right? But the two 
Um, the Two of Swords, the Page of Pentacles, and the Two of Wands. Yeah, you guys, um, who here wants their manifestations to come in faster? Who here wants their manifestations to come in faster? Especially manifestations around something you're passionate about or career, money, your health and wellness, something tangible. Something you can see, touch, taste, feel. You get what I'm saying? Okay, so here's what you're going to do. You guys have to stop sitting around and hoping something's going to change. You have to step out of your comfort zone and take a small step toward what you see for your future. What does this mean? I said this earlier, uh, not earlier, I said this yesterday, okay? For example, if you want to manifest money, for example, okay, you have to take action steps toward healing your self-worth, doing things that make you feel worthy, make you feel valuable, okay? So how do you do that? I'm gonna give you a good example. You can review your finances and get rid of things that you're not using. You can establish a budget because people with money a budget, okay? Millionaires don't just become millionaires, okay? They, they budget their money, they allocate their money, they know where their money, how it's coming in and going out. So just increasing your awareness, a small step, just opening up your bank account and looking and looking at where money is coming in and where it's going out. I'm not telling you to invest anything or spend money. I'm not saying that, okay? Another way to improve your self-worth to attract money or abundance in general is to treat your body like you are worthy of health and wellness. Clean up your nutrition. Start exercising more consistently. Manage your health. Are your stress? I'm not your health. Manage your stress. Okay. Incorporate non-negotiable spiritual routines. Okay. When I work with one-on-one -on -one clients, guys, the three top non-negotiables are meditation, grounding, and journaling. Make that a practice every single day because you're going to tell the universe, my time's valuable. Okay, so if you give value to yourself and your time, you're going to attract more value in other areas of your life. You don't just have to spend money to make money. Like you don't have to do that. But that's just one example. Are you guys getting what I'm saying? Is this resonating for you? Let me know in the comments. Okay. Work smarter, not harder. And guys, I'm giving you solutions that are that are that costs you nothing, literally. It costs you nothing to meditate, to ground, and to journal, other than the, the cost of a journal, <laughs> right? Yeah, you could listen to Abraham Hicks. I listen, I listen to Abraham Hicks sometimes. Not so much anymore. In the beginning of my spiritual journey, I did. What else? Eight of Cups. Yeah, you guys got to walk away from sitting in your comfort zone, but you also got to walk away from waiting for someone to come through. All right, some of you guys are just sitting here. You're sitting here waiting for someone to offer you something, a job, money, a relationship. Thor, stop. Thor. <laughs> anyway, you guys are waiting for someone to just hand you something. You're sitting here waiting, 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 maybe watching their social media. Hold on, guys. I got to take a speaker. Hold on. Come here, Thor. Good night. Close it. Oh. All right. Sorry, guys. I can't concentrate when he's using his squeaker all the time. Okay. Um, it's like you have to move on with your own life, you guys. You have to live life for you. All right. So... What I want to say to you guys, yeah, Thor, oh, hey, Ben, good morning, um, oh, there he is, you want to say hi, look, oh, say hi to the people, say hi, hi from New Jersey, hi, baby, hi, that's Thor, everyone, in case anyone has not met him, that is my fur baby, because I don't have any real babies yet, <laughs> I took a squeaker because I'm trying to deliver messages to y'all, all right? Anyway, um, yeah, guys, stop waiting around. Stop waiting around. 
if you're stop watching people on social media, stop the comparison game. I feel like you guys are paralyzed by comparison. It's like, I could never do what that person does. How did they get there? It just seems so overwhelming. Oh my God. You guys got to walk away from comparing other people's success or progress to yours. All right. Everyone, everyone starts at a different point, a different pace, but everyone starts somewhere. You guys, my business did not start off as a six figure business. My business started very, very small. And then over time it grew and grew and grew because I put consistent effort into it. But the thing is I didn't sit still. I wasn't afraid. There it is. I wasn't afraid to experiment. All right. So what this is saying is your, your success, the, the balance, the reaching of a milestone. Some of you guys want to move. Okay. Some of you guys want to travel more. You want to maybe expand your knowledge base, go back to school, learn something new. Okay. But you guys, if you want the resources to come in to help you to do that, start looking up courses that you're interested in taking. Make a vision board. Take like a super, super small step. That's all the universe is asking of you. Wait, hold on, card fell. Yeah, the solution is right in front of your face, but it's like you're self-sabotaging or self-fulfilling prophecy. It's like if you keep telling yourself you're going to fail or it's never going to come, it's not going to happen, or I can't do it, you're going to manifest it never coming and you not being able to do it. Okay, so you got to get out of your own way here. Queen of, uh, Queen of Cups. Yet yeah, you guys... Stop trusting the ego. Start trusting your intuition. Six of Cups. I feel like from a very young age, you guys were taught to not trust your intuition. You were taught to look to external validation to reassure you of your actions and what you were doing. Okay? Um, and some of you, you guys can't see what you're walking toward. Okay? Thor, stop. Some of you guys have to trust where you're being guided is the right direction. Because I feel like a lot of you, you have no idea where the divine is guiding you. Like your spirit guides um, or your higher power. You're like, where is this going? What's the path? What are all the steps? And your intuition is just like, can you just fucking trust us? Can you just fucking trust? Okay. Um, some of you guys have serious trust issues. Serious trust issues here. For some of you too, you guys already know that you need to walk away from this person or this job. You're just, you're hesitating on it. Guys, I'm telling you, if you don't walk away from this, and this would be a relationship that's unhealthy now. If you don't walk away from this toxic job, this unhealthy job, unhealthy environment, person, um, habit, self-sabotaging habit, whatever, it's going to blow up into something much bigger. So what the universe is saying, leave before it becomes a bigger problem. Leave before it becomes a bigger problem. Do you guys want an example? Comment example if y'all want an example. Yeah, it could be have something to do with a third party situation with the three of cups. It could have something to do with walking away from friends or a friend group or something where you are in a group. Okay. Um, okay. So an example would be, so last year um, I was engaged to someone else. I left him December of 2021 because I found out he was cheating on me for literally an entire year. Um, okay. Um, however, I could have left him a lot sooner in 2021. All right. Because my intuition literally from like October of 2020 was telling me something was wrong. Like he was doing shit behind my back. He was lying. By the way, my ex is a narcissist, very emotionally abusive, has his own issues. Sending him love and light. I'm not putting him down. I'm just saying like what I experienced with him. Okay. Um, so I could have left, but guess what guys? There were cops involved. There were no four. So guys, hold on one second. No. Sorry, he was eating my eucalyptus, which could be poisonous, so let's not have that. Anyway, so I could have left a lot earlier, but instead I waited until December where shit blew up. I got, I had to get cops involved. There were hospitals involved. It was like a whole big fucking mess. 
Okay. Sure, Lisa, go for it. Um, so that's what I mean, guys. Like, it could have been such a smoother transition leaving that relationship, but I did not trust my intuition and I stuck it out and it blew up in my fucking face. So that's kind of like what the universe is saying right now. Like, don't allow us like something that could be very easily moved out of become something much worse. Yeah. It, I mean, don't be sorry it happened. I have an amazing new life. I'm engaged to someone else now. Like, I am so happy. Ace of Cups. Guys, emotionally new fulfilling beginning coming in December. Um, Could be a new relationship, new love. Um, or like a burst of creativity that is going to just make you feel so good, so fulfilled. What's the Three of Cups? Knight of Wands. Guys, okay. Eight of Pentacles. I've been saying this, you guys. Six of Pentacles. Guys, I'm telling you, there. I've been saying this. Resources coming in. Some of you guys are getting a new job. Some of you guys are going to be getting a promotion. Some of you guys are having an increase in business if you own your own business. Okay. Or uh, if you guys are looking for new love, um, someone's coming in with a really nice uh, proposal or offer to have equal energy distribution, equal give and take. Now, if you're in separation or you are thinking about separating, you're ready to give back to yourself, okay, with that Six of Pentacles there. Um, but I feel like if you do choose to separate, guys, you're going to be able to travel more. You're going to reestablish yourself in a new location or just build a stronger foundation in loving yourself. All right. But Knight of Wands, Ace of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, guys, there's a huge burst of tr like energy to travel or a lot of movement, positive movement in your finances and your career space by mid-December. All right, so should we see what your uh, your next steps should be for December, guys? Next steps. Let me know. Should I do next? Oh, shit. Next steps for mid-December. Let me know. Oh. And guys, my hair looks this good because I just got it done two days ago. So, <laughs> that's why. Because my stylist is, I call her a blowout ninja because she just is magic with blowouts. She really is. Anyway, here we go. God through the universe, divine creative all things. For mid-December, from now until mid-December, what are the action steps that we are meant to take for our highest good? Bringing harm to none. The moon, take the path you're afraid to take. Face your fears. Um, this could have something to do with your mother as well. Addressing fears or addressing things that you don't want to talk to your mom about. Address them now. That's for some of you. But for most of you, it's take the path that you doubt you should take, that you're conflicted about taking. Six of Cups. Um, because the path that you're fearful or doubtful of taking is actually a gift. The Six of Cups. It's the key to your healing. Answer to your prayers is what I'm hearing. Um, so we have Cancer Energy again and then Aries Leo Sag. Yeah, go on an adventure, guys. This, If anyone's been getting the message to go on an adventure or do something adventurous or spontaneous or out of the norm for you. 22% of my battery, by the way, 2-2. And guys, keep tapping the screen to like the live. We have a 50K like goal and we are almost halfway there. Um, six of Wands. Again, success. Public recognition. Success you didn't expect, guys. If you take this this new path that you're afraid to take because you don't see everything in front of you. Okay. Because it's so new. Six of wands guys. There's, there's a lot of success overcoming uh, challenges, overcoming self doubt. Um, don't pay attention to the haters. Don't let the haters dissuade you. 
Also, some of you are afraid to let go of someone from the past, whether you're with them or not. I don't, it doesn't matter if you're in communication or not. Um, the action steps, if you let them go, it's gonna, it's gonna feel like sweet victory. Okay. Five of cups. Yeah. You're going to overcome what you're, whatever you're grieving, you guys. Um, action steps are to see how much more successful and happy and passionate you are without this person. A lot of you guys are focusing on the negative with regard to, um, a loss, um, of a relationship, a person, a job, whatever, but you're not focusing on how leaving that, that person, job, situation, whatever it is, is actually a form of self-love, Empress Energy. Yeah, it's like you guys are turning your story of loss into something creative that's that can be financially lucrative, but if not, for you to feel successful, happy, for you to really tap in with self-love and you've got to see the the brighter side of this. How do you leave a narcissist? You literally have zero communication with them. You can't give them any power. They'll do anything to try and control you, manipulate you, lie to you. Narcissists are tough, especially because empaths are very attracted to narcissists. I'm an empath. I've been with quite a few narcissists. They are, they are a tough, tough, tough bond to break. All right. Um, because they're, they're usually so traumatized from childhood. Their inner child is very wounded. And as empaths, we connect with that and we want to help heal them. But other people's healing journey is not our fucking job. Not our job. Um, the tower. Something unexpected. Um, again, you guys, I feel like some sneaky shit is coming to light by mid-December. Makes a lot of sense because we have the full moon in Gemini on December 7th. So this is very fitting. Okay. Um. Some sneaky shit's going to come out, going to rock your world. So what I would say is take this in stride, all right? Um, so whatever shocking news happens, guys, it's part of what you're manifesting. Some of you guys, I've said this before, some of you guys don't realize when you ask for manifestations, when you ask for certain things you want, whatever is low vibrational, whatever is not in alignment with those manifestations has to go. So for example, my narcissistic ex was not in energetic alignment with where I am now. Okay. With everything I want to manifest with all the beautiful things I've manifested now, he's not in alignment with it. He's way too low vibe. Okay. He's way too in his ego. All right. So I couldn't reach the amount of success, prosperity, happiness that I have now with that person. Not possible. Okay. So um, I'm not going to lie to you guys. Some of you guys may be divorcing, separating, leaving jobs, or you're going to lose your job. Um, but this is something you would already intuitively feel. Yeah, it's it, so my one year anniversary of leaving my toxic ex is December 7th. It's in four days. Okay, but judgment, the four of cups, and justice, Thor... So there's a judgment call that you guys are not going to be able to sit on anymore with the justice card here. Balance has to be restored and you've got to get moving. Yeah, like something really major is going to happen. I wouldn't be surprised if it was around the full moon, three days before, three days after. So we'll be in full moon energy tomorrow. And then the 4th, 5th, 6th, then the 7th is the full moon, 8th, 9th, 10th. So we'll be in full moon energy for a week. Um, Thor, stop. This could have something to do with a Libra, a Taurus, a Cancer. Doesn't have to be though. The thing is, guys, whatever is blowing up, whatever is breaking down, whatever obstacle or whatever, yeah, whatever is breaking down, whatever is leaving your life, 
That's what's bringing in your manifestations. That's what's the catalyst to your rebirth. What's this Four of Cups? Sorry, I need to clarify the Four of Cups, guys. Two of Pentacles. Um, yeah, guys, I feel like... And then the Queen of Wands. Yeah, it's like, can I handle this on my own? Like, if you're starting a new business, can I do this on my own? If you're starting a new life and leaving a relationship, can I do this on my own? Can I handle all of it? Can I prioritize properly? Also, some of you have been ignoring your gifts, and that is very karmic for you guys. Some of you guys have been ignoring your spiritual gifts, your psychic gifts. There's no more denying it. Also, um, for others of you, I feel like you guys are going to have to choose between two people. I feel like you've been sitting on this for a while, but it's it's bad karma to keep people hanging, to string people along. Um, so you're going to have to make a choice between two people. Or it's a choice between two things. So you can either stay where you're at or you can move forward. Okay, so you can either stay in the toxic job or start the business or start the new career. You can either stay in the shitty relationship or you can prioritize yourself and move forward and move on. You can either pretend you're not gifted and continue to leave an unfulfilling life or you can choose to embrace your gifts and receive your good karma and close out a karmic cycle. Your choice. What else? Yeah, guys, Ten of Cups. I love this. Ten of Cups. Ten of Pentacles. What the fuck? And the Wheel of Fortune. Nine of Cups again. Guys, this is big time energy. We have ten. Guys, Nine of Cups. Only your emotional fulfillment matters. Only your needs matter right now. Stop worrying about everybody fucking else. Okay? Okay? And listen, this is going to be an unpopular opinion, but you know what? I don't care. Stop worrying about how your kids fucking feel, your husband, your wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, friends, family, your coworkers. Stop giving a flying fuck what everyone else thinks and just do you, babe. Just do you. Do you. Okay? I'm going to say this to like all the parents out there too. Your kids' needs do not trump yours. Um, okay? Okay? Your needs do not, I mean, your kids' needs don't trump yours. Yes, you have to provide basic things for them. But guess what? If you do not show up completely for yourself, you cannot show up for them. Kids, family, friends, I don't care who it is. I don't care who it is, okay? But look at this beautiful energy to close out the, um, I'll pull one Oracle card. We literally, literally, guys, have 10, 10, 10. 10, 10, 10. Are you freaking kidding me? I can't make this up. All right. Trust in divine time. Things are working out. This is the card of destiny, of fate. Okay. Things are happening behind the scenes that you cannot see. Trust that everything is happening as it should. You're on the right path. Ten of cups, emotional fulfillment. But um, fortune after difficulty, ten of cups. Anything that you have felt uh, at whatever area of your life you've been struggling in, Emotional fulfillment is going to come out of that pain. Ten of Pentacles, financial abundance, but long-term, career longevity. Um, longevity with regard to your health and wellness because you are focusing on you. Guys, I can't make this up. Like, some things are happening that you can't... You guys got to release control. That's an action step. Release control. Release control. Stop thinking you need to keep doing stuff to prove you deserve things, okay? A lot of you, this is like an inner child trauma. A lot of you guys think you have to keep doing things to prove your worth. You need to keep earning to receive. How about you just try to trust in divine time, have faith, and just allow yourself to receive? That's the big problem with, a, with or the challenge or struggle with a lot of you guys is that you don't connect success with the fact that abundance is your birthright. You can be happy and fulfilled 
simply by being yourself. That's, yeah, exactly. All right, so. Release and receive, baby. That's right. Um, all right, so I'm going to close out the reading with Oracle. By the way, guys, if anyone wants to join my grounding workshop, um, it's like a, it's a specialty workshop I'm doing for the full moon in Gemini. Grounding will help you release anxiety. It will help you connect more with your body. It will help you release negative energy. It'll help increase your own vitality and energy. It will help you be more focused, release fear. Okay, so if anyone wants to join the grounding workshop, comment grounding so I know. Yes, this will be posted on YouTube. Way too many. Okay. So we have citrus and then we have chickweed. Citrus and chickweed. This looks like a moon, full moon. Okay. So sticker, everyone who's commenting grounding um, or whoever wants to hear how to work with me, um, please stick around until the end of the reading and I will explain how to join the workshop. Um, Tabitha, thank you so much for buying a candle from me. Um, like I said earlier, guys, I finally added all my merch and swag to my website. The link is in my TikTok bio. I also have gift cards available if you guys would like to gift anything um, for Christmas or the holidays. All right. So citrus. Guys, we have 9-9 again. I can't make this shit up, y'all. I can't make this up. We have card number 45. Five plus four is nine, and then literally card number nine. I can't make it up. I can't make it up. A lot of you are st stepping into your light working abilities too, guys. I talked about this yesterday. Who's starting a light working business or a healing business or expanding, becoming a Reiki practitioner, tarot reader, um, or just stepping into the healing, um, healing or energy space? Let's see. Okay, citrus. Citrus. This is a card of capability and empowerment. You've been stuck in limbo lately, like I said. Waiting for someone to make the time to help you. Ultimately, however, it will be faster to brush up on the skills you lack and do things yourself. Be like a citrus fruit with all its important nutrients. Fill yourself with value and strength that will benefit you both now and in the future. That's what I friggin' said to you guys earlier. Whatever you want to learn about, however you want to heal your body, like whatever you want to go after, go after it, guys. Stay, take the first step. Anyway. You've been stuck, oh, sorry, you've been struck with a number of situations recently that you feel are out of your control, but through, but though the circumstances that cause them might be the way, but though the circumstances that cause them might be, the way that you handle them is not. You have, in, you have internal strength to govern how they affect you. Some battles can be won and some are best left alone. Listen to your inner voice that already knows which is which. Is it worth continuing to give your energy to, or is it not? All right, and then the bottom of the deck, we have chickweed. Um, I don't think I've ever gotten this card before, so let's see. Chickweed. What's resonating for you guys, by the way? Okay. New growth is is fast to appear at the beginning of spring and the first green leaves are a good omen of things to come. A period of waiting is over. Results are starting to appear. Fortune's blessings will soon be yours. And this is for from now until mid-December, guys. I can't make this up. Yes, yeah, Celeste, tell me. Um, all right, let's see. All right, so this is uh, the 
second um, interpretation of this card. A series of small blessings are due to appear to you, so be sure to make the most of them. They may appear modest and insignificant, particularly after such a long period of struggle, but the benefits and good fortune they will bring are numerous. Guys, are you serious? What a beautiful way to close out the reading. Wow. 